Here we are in the town of Armadillo de los Infante. However, it originally had another name. It was called the Valley of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to Santa Isabel de los Armadillos. And that was founded in 1826. However, on May 6, 1951, by decree, it was officially renamed to Armadillo de los Infante. This denomination was in honor of the Infante family since they were the first printers in place long before the printing press was established in the city of San Luis Potosí. Armadillo de los Infante has a population of 307 people. Uh, depending on where you are in San Luis Potosí, it's about a one hour drive. The town is fairly isolated and there isn't much around it. We did spend an afternoon there wandering the streets and eating at one of the restaurants with our friends Mike and Jocelyn. Wandering the stone streets kind of reminded us of walking the streets in Ahi. Uh, it was fairly uneven to walk on and you really kind of had to watch your step. Before the arrival of Spanish colonizers, the region where Armadillo de los Infante is located was inhabited by indigenous peoples including the Peme and Chichimeca tribes. The town is really very small. We were there on a Sunday afternoon. As you can see, there really aren't many people around it. The town inhabitants and uh, a few tourists um, that were all Mexican. We, I think, were the only people from anywhere outside of Mexico visiting the town on this day. We're coming up on the main plaza and cathedral as you see here to the right. I want to pause it here because I was curious as to why so many churches are painted red with the body color being yellow or kind of like a golden yellow. And what I found out is that the red represents the blood of God and the yellow or golden yellow represents the light of God. Here's Paulette in her natural environment. This I thought was just a beautiful tree-lined street. Lots of vibrant colors. One of the things we really appreciate about Mexico is the vibrant colors and tree-lined streets like this. Here we are in the center square. As you can see, not very many people around, lots of places to sit, uh, a lot of shade. Really pretty comfortable. Uh, the square probably lacks some of the aesthetic beauty that a lot of Mexican cities have in their center squares, but if you like around at the buildings that are beautifully painted, These stone walls were everywhere, including on the drive-in to the town. Really very nicely done. Uh, beautiful work. You can't imagine how much time it must have taken to construct those. Now we're walking around in the residential areas. We did get a couple of stairs, like people looking at us like we were lost, but Paulette and I kind of like to check out these residential areas too, just to see how people in these villages and cities that we visit live. Uh, we find it very interesting.
Here's the statue of the town mascot in Armadillo, which really looks like it kind of crawled from the sea, and apparently you can tell time since it's got a wristwatch. If you like what we're doing, we hope you'll consider subscribing and also checking out our Facebook group, also called the Two Travelers in Mexico.